Welcome back to fourth grade math corner. This is module four, lesson one. Our learning target is today I will identify points, lines, line segments, rays, and angles. This is a new unit. This is a unit on geometry. Geometry are shapes. This is going, to, we're going to talk about angle and angle measures and plane figures. Plane figures are shapes that lay flat on a surface or a plane. They're two dimensional. We are going to look at the parts that make up these figures. Um, on your calendar, it is suggested that you watch this brain pop video that's very useful. Mrs. Iacono was awesome and has a username and password that everybody can use. When you go on to the Brain Pop, you are going to look in the math section under geometry for points, lines, line segments, and rays. The username you will enter is Harris Iacono with a capital H and a capital I. And your password is Bethel1 exclamation point with a capital B. When you get there, it will look like... This, it is a three minute video, three minute and 51 second video, that is very useful on understanding the different parts that make up a plane figure or a shape. We are, when after you watch the video, you will understand these different words. We're going to keep track of the words, how we abbreviate them or write them in geometry. We're going to keep track of their definition and we'll draw a picture. Then we will be able to use these to do our problem set. A point, we often will just draw a dot or a location in on a plane or just a virtual surface. Our abbreviation is just a line and or I mean a dot sorry and we always abbreviate it by naming it a letter it can be any letter this one I'm going to name a that would be our abbreviation for point it's also our picture so we'll go over to this picture section anytime you draw a point you will label it with a letter to name that way if I'm talking about it and I say point to or show me where point A is, you will know that I'm talking about this dot represented with an A. A point is a dot that tells a location or shows a location. <clears throat> so we know that the location here is dot or point B, and this location is point A. If I wanted to talk about a location over here, I would put a dot and call it a different letter like C or D or E or J, any of the letters. The next um, vocabulary word that we need to know about in geometry are, is line. When we write line, we often just make the two letters that we label a line with, and on the top of those letters, we put a line with two arrows. The reason we do this is because a line is um, where when two dots are connected and can go on and on forever. Lines can continue on and on and on and on forever and ever and ever, never stopping. And they can go in either direction. A line can also be diagonal or vertical. All of these are lines. We label the ends with letters again to show or to name them. So this here is line AB, and I would call the other line that connects two points and continues on forever two different letters so that we could talk about them separately. So maybe this one is C. D. So we would call this line AB and this line CD. Remember the definition of a line is that it is a uh, two points 
connected and continue, I'm going to abbreviate continue, forever. <clears throat> so the two arrows on both lines, or both sides of the line, tell us that it will go on and on and on forever. That's what the arrows represent. The next word that we'll need to know is line segment. So this is a lot like a line, but the word segment means a piece. So this is a piece of a line. Remember a line can go on and on and on and on forever, but sometimes we don't want to look at the entire line that goes on forever. We just want to look at a part of it. This is often when we have two points and they're connected, but they don't continue. So the two points will have the, or the two, sorry, the line segment, my points are getting too big. The line segment will end at the two points. It will not go on and on and on forever. They still need to be labeled. We can label these anything we want. Let's call them E and F. So this is line segment EF. I would abbreviate line segment EF by putting my two letters, sorry, my dogs are fighting, EF, and then on the top of it, I put the line, and at the end of my line, I can put the dots, or, because my line already has the two arrows, my line segment, I just put the line. <clears throat> the next, oh, sorry, I forgot to put the definition. A line segment is a piece of a line. It's the only piece that is connected with two dots. And it doesn't have arrows because it doesn't go on and on forever. A ray is like a line and like a line segment. It's like a line and a line segment combined. Have you ever thought about um, the word ray like in a sun ray? Where the sun rays start at the sun and they continue down to earth and they can go on and on and on. That is what a ray is. A ray starts at a point like this and continues from the point on and on and on forever. And to show that it can continue on and on and on forever, we put an arrow at the other end. We label them so that we can talk about them or abbreviate them. Let's call this point S and the arrow T because it goes on and on and on forever. So when we write it as an abbreviation, we would just put the two letters, ST, and on the top, we would put the line with an arrow to show that this is ray ST, because a ray starts at a point, but goes on and on forever. Whereas a line segment starts and ends at a point, at um, two different points, and the line, doesn't start or end anywhere, it continues on and on forever, so it needs the arrows going in both direction. directions. Sorry. So the definition of a ray is a line that starts at a point and continues I'm going to have to use the bottom box forever. So it starts at one point and then continues on and on and on forever. The last word we're going to talk about in this lesson are angles. So it's down here. Angles are created with two um, rays. So an angle can be created by connecting two rays. They have to share the same point. So I'm going to make sure that we know this goes up there. And so we have, let's say we start at this point and we'll call it V. 
And then we have a ray go out and another ray go out this way. I'll use an arc, an arc here to show that this is the angle. The angle is the space between the two rays. When we have the space between two rays, we need to know the start point, the point that they share, and we need letters for the arrows to show that they continue on and on and on forever. So if I have V on my point, I need two other letters to represent my angles. I'll do W and X. So when I call this an angle, what I'm talking about, again, is the space between the two um, rays. So the angle is actually this space here. And I have an arc, this um, like circle type line inside of my angle is my arc. It's showing the space that is called the angle. When I abbreviate this, the abbreviation for angle is I make a little angle and then I put the um, three letters that make this angle. The tricky thing is, is that the, um, there are three letters and the inside letter, the middle letter needs to be the point that they share. So I'm actually going to start with one of my arrows. So I'm going to say this is angle W because that's here at the top. My point that they share is in the middle, so V. And then I'm going to put the, whoops, sorry, the last um, point, which is my X. So this is angle WVX. And I've already said an angle, the definition of an angle is the space between two rays that share the same end point. And that same end point is here. All right, so we're gonna use this information to solve some problems in your problem set. I have the homework problems, or the one of the homework problems. If you accidentally got a homework book, that's okay. We're going, it looks just like the problem set. It says, use the following directions to draw a figure in the box to the right. So remember, a figure is a shape or um, uh, something on a flat surface that uses all these vocabulary words to create them. So you're going to go in order of the directions. The directions say draw two points, W and X. It doesn't matter where you draw them. Points are just any location. So you can pick to draw them anywhere. I'm going to draw W here. Uh, I decided not to. I'm going to draw W here and label it. And I'll draw X there. And remember, I have to label it. Then use a straight edge to draw WX. I don't have a straight edge. A, a straight edge is like a ruler, but I can draw it as straight as I as possible. And I'm just trying to draw WX to connect. But if you notice, I'll zoom in because it's hard to see. If you notice, this has a line with, oh, it's a little bit. It's kind of cut off on the bottom, a line with an arrow, which means I have to draw a ray. So I'm going to draw, and it doesn't matter which direction. I'm going to draw my ray going this way. I went kind of past my dot on accident, but that's okay because I need to have my arrow. My dots were too small. There's ray, WX. And then it says draw a new point that is not on WX and label it Y. So it can't be on this ray, it has to be somewhere else. So I'm just gonna put it, whoops, that's not a point. I'm just gonna put it down here, point, and I have to label it Y. 
Y. Then it says, draw W, Y. And I'm going to zoom in so you notice there's no arrows on either side, which means it is a line segment. So I don't want it to go past my dots, my points. I'm going to make my point a little bigger for Y so I can't go past it. It's kind of tricky to draw on the iPad. <clears throat> so there's my line segment W, Y. Then it says draw a point not on W, X or on W, Y. Call it Z. So maybe I'm going to come over here. I want to make it a little bigger so we can see it. And now I draw Z. Remember my point, I can put any direction or any place in my square. So if yours doesn't look like mine, that is perfectly fine. I am going to then construct YZ. And if I zoom in, I see that this is YZ with an arrow in both directions. So it is a line. So I want to make sure that I have arrows in both directions when connecting them. So I'm going to connect them and put arrows in both directions, which means it's going to go out a little past my points. Then it says, G, use the points you've already labeled to name one angle. So remember, the angle is the space between two rays. I have a ray here and a line segment here, which is kind of like a ray. So I'm going to put an arc there. And then I have space between these two and I'm going, so I'm going to put an arc there. Those are both angles. I only have to label one of them. Remember the, whatever one I pick, the middle point or the vertex, if you remember from third grade, the middle point that they share is, has to be in the middle of my abbreviation. So it is angle. And if I want to do this angle, I'm going to do W, I'm sorry, X, W, Y. If I do this angle, I'm going to go W, Y, Z. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to do X, W, Y. <clears throat> Another activity you're going to have is to find the different um, vocabulary words that we need to know about, the different parts of a figure, in real life objects. And you're just going to mark them if you find, or um, yeah, mark them if you find them. So it'll look come something like this. So you will just look, is there a ray somewhere in here? Is there... Um, whoops, sorry, in the clock, if there's a line in the clock, if there are line segments in the clock, if there are angles in the clock, then you're gonna, you're going to mark on the die and then on the number line. If you have any questions, please contact your teacher.